over 4,000 yards of offense, 55 touchdowns, first team all state. But Jay Kubinick doesn't have a place to play. It's very stressful because I just think recruiting is kind of crazy the way it works out. I think it puts a chip on my shoulder just knowing the kind of player I am and just kind of want to prove everybody wrong. It wasn't always this way for Hubenek, who was a highly touted recruit at the start of his junior year before a knee injury ended his season after four games. Everything started to pick up like I thought this is going to be great and then of course I got hurt so then everything just drops off like don't hear from anybody and you're hurt people always have questions will he come back the same way or anything like and I even I had the same questions before this season will I be as good as I was last year and so hopefully I answered those questions this year. Despite leading Georgetown to a 15 and 0 record, Hubenek didn't start to get attention from colleges again until after the Eagles lost in the state title game. It's just like a roller coaster ride. It's crazy but ever since the state championship game I've had calls from junior college D3 to D1 so I'm just kind of trying to explore my options with D1 right now because I think that's the kind of caliber player I am. Now that interest from schools like Arkansas State with new head coach Brian Harson and Texas Tech has picked up, Hubenick is hoping he gets a chance to prove all the schools that passed on him wrong. All I need to know is how good of a player I am and I don't really care what other people think because I'll go prove it to them. There's a bunch of people that said he couldn't come back and have the kind of senior year he had you know, after getting hurt as a junior, but, um, you know, Jake's a, a great competitor, great kid. Um, he's going to he's gonna do well in whatever college environment. Um, somebody gives him a chance, and he just got to have a chance. And that's all he's asking for. Chris Tavares, KXAN News.